In today's show, Bitcoin nears 21,700, as well as boosts Bitcoin almost perfectly. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis and quoting whale map. Whale support at 19,000 worked almost perfectly to the upside. 21,500 is now the closest resistance, according to whales. And quoting crypto analyst Mikhail Vende Pop, Bitcoin is still resting at resistance and probably consolidating here. I'd like to see high getting swept and then a consolidation. What happens in between? Probably we'll see altcoins firing off heavily and quoting Phoenix. If Bitcoin holds 20,700, then I think we'll run this to 23,000 later. And Plan B updates his stock to flow model. One certainty, in my opinion, one day will be red again. And quoting Max Kaiser, America is driving 350 miles per hour into Bitcoin's impenetrable wall of encryption. Good luck with that. Also in today's show, MicroStrategy to reinvest. $500 million stock sales into Bitcoin, according to their latest SEC filing. Quoting them here, we intend to use the net proceeds from the sale of any Class A common stock offered under this prospectus for general corporate purposes, including the acquisition of Bitcoin, unless otherwise indicated in the applicable prospectus supplement. And as shared here, MicroStrategy raisin up to $500 million to buy more Bitcoin. Probably nothing. Also in today's show, Ethereum ready for the merge as last shadow fork completes successfully. As they share here, transition and mainnet shadow fork 13, the last shadow fork before the merge was successful for all nethermind nodes. Also in today's show, FTX Ventures buys 30% stake in Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital. Also in today's show, Bitcoin well activity is sending a bullish signal for the king crypto, says the Vera Group CEO, Nigel Green, and explains why. Quoting him here, despite the recent turbulence, I believe that the trajectory of Bitcoin and other major cryptos is upwards. This is why I view the current dip as a discount. I'll also be sharing with you this conservative $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. That's right, incorporating the estimated 413% increase between May 2028 and May 2029. Bitcoin would be on target to hit $2.08 million by May 2029, giving Bitcoin a January 2030 value of $2.08 11 million dollars per BTC. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So if you like receiving daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Will Smith, that like button and drop us a comment right down below. It helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And for a limited time, they have a special promo for you where you can get up to $1,000 in Bitcoin when you buy, sell, or trade crypto with BlockFi using my referral link in the description right down below. Now, another flagship product of theirs is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa Credit Card, which you can see here. You can get an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on everything you buy. There are no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, and you can see if you are approved with no impact to your credit score, truly making this a no-brainer. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. Claim your bonus of up to $1,000 in BTC, and let's get this crypto, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and welcome to podcast episode number 1043. The Bitcoin sought to overturn August resistance on September 10th, as the well-buy levels dictated the Bitcoin price action. Right here, you're looking at the Bitcoin one day candle chart. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and Trading View showed Bitcoin hitting new multi week highs of 21,600 on Bitstamp. Bitcoin capitalized on a short squeeze, which began early on September 9th, taking it around 10% higher after plumbing the lowest levels since the end of June. That's right. And analyzing the events on chain monitoring resource, Whale Map noted that the clusters of buy ins by whales had effectively allowed Bitcoin to put in a floor. 19,000 dollars has been a high volume zone of interest for buyers previously and this thus remained unviolated during the visit to two month lows and as previously reported two other key whale support zones lie at sixteen thousand and thirteen thousand dollars quoting whale map here whale support at nineteen thousand worked almost perfectly to the upside twenty one thousand five hundred is now the closest resistance according to the whales and another chart showed the significance of the mid 21,000 corridor in which Bitcoin was acting on the day. And in addition to being of interest to the whales, the zone functioned as support 
in mid-August before flipping to resistance, and quoting crypto analyst Mikhail Bende Pop, Bitcoin still resting at resistance and probably consolidating here. I'd like to see the high getting swept and then a consolidation. What happens in between? Probably we'll see altcoins firing off heavily, and quoting Phoenix, after this impressive move, it would be quite logical to cool off here. Low time frame sweep already happens, momentum falling bit by bit. If Bitcoin holds 20,700, then I think we'll run this to 23,000 later. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts. Now, Trader Phoenix, meanwhile, called for more substantial consolidation next, followed by a return to $23,000. Meanwhile, Ethereum expected to hit $1,900. That's right, of additional interest to traders was Ether, which managed its highest since August 19th on the day before retracing. $1,745 can still be beaten. Popular Twitter account, Crypto Capo shared before a come down took hold. Quoting him here, ETH going straight to the $1,800 to $1,900 resistance. I expect bearish continuation once this level has been reached. This could be on or before the merge date, and the current merge date is scheduled to be released September 13th in just three more days. Also important to remind you that creditor reimbursements from defunct exchange Mt. Gox are notionally due to begin the same day. Now both events will come to two days after the latest CPI inflation data from the United States. And quoting Plan B on his recent update, one certainty, in my opinion, one day there will be red again. Preach. Also, as shared here by Max Kaiser, America is driving 350 miles per hour into Bitcoin's impenetrable wall of encryption. Good luck with that. And before I break down next way of the day, MicroStrategy to reinvest 500 million stock sales into Bitcoin, according to their latest SEC filing. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin up 1.3% for the day, maintaining just above $21,300. We have Ether up 1.1%, maintaining just above $1,700, while Binance Coin, Avalanche, XRP and Cardano are all pumping and in the green, while Solana and Polkadot are correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down the next story of the day. MicroStrategy, the largest institutional Bitcoin buyer, entered an agreement with two agents, Cohen and Company and BTIG, to sell its aggregated Class A common stock worth a half a billion dollars. MicroStrategy, co-founded by Bitcoin bull Michael Saylor, amassed approximately 130,000 BTC over several years at an aggregate purchase price of almost $4 billion. And despite the market uncertainties, the business analytics software firm continues to pursue its goal of acquiring more more Bitcoin by selling company stocks. The filing confirmed the following. We intend to use the net proceeds from the sale of any Class A common stock offered under this prospectus for general corporate purposes, including the acquisition of Bitcoin, unless otherwise indicated in the applicable prospectus supplement. So buying the dip is essential for MicroStrategy as the company's Bitcoin reserve has dipped to an aggregated value of nearly $2.8 billion, resulting in a loss of over a billion dollars as shown by Bitcoin Treasury's data, as you can see here. And coincidentally, on the day of the filing, Bitcoin price shot up 11% to nearly $21,500. So there you have it. MicroStrategy continuing to purchase up Bitcoin as they said they would. So shout out to MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor. And before I break down next story of the day, Ethereum is ready for the merge as its last shadow fork completes successfully. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting above a trillion dollars with 90 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. The Bitcoin dominance back on the climb at 39% with the Ether dominance at 20.2%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have Terra Luna leading the pack up 95% trading at $6.77, followed by Terra Classic USD, the so-called Stablecoin up 47%, but only trading at 6.2 cents, followed by Ravencoin up 26%, trading at 5. 5 cents and checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week you can finally see we're back to a sea of green which i love to see gains for the altcoin market we have luna leading the pack up 244 percent we have luna classic up 62.8 percent and ravencoin up 90.9 percent and checking out one of my favorite indicators is the crypto greed and fear index shows we are currently rated a 28 in fear yesterday at 22 in extreme fear last week at 21 and last month a 41 in fear but all right now let's break down the next day of the day ethereum Developers confirmed the successful completion of their shadow forks required for the highly anticipated blockchain upgrade, the merge. Shadow forks help developers stress test synchronization assumptions to ensure the network's safety during permanent upgrades. In the light of the merge, Ethereum developers implemented the first shadow fork on April 11th, 
2022. Now, nearly six months in, Ethereum Research, an engineering company, Nethermind confirmed that the transition into a mainnet Shadow Fork 13, which is the last Shadow Fork, was successful, signaling the readiness of the network for migrating to a proof of stake consensus mechanism, as they tweeted here, transition into mainnet Shadow Fork 13, the last Shadow Fork before the merge was successful for all Nethermind nodes. Let's go. How many of you are currently bullish on the merge? Let me know in the comments right down below. The testnet allowed Ethereum developers to practice running nodes, deploying contracts and testing the infrastructure amongst other functionalities. And as a result, Shadow Forks allow developers to gauge the implications of network upgrades before they even happen. And as part of the upgrade, the community needs to update their Ethereum clients and run the combination of an execution layer and consensus layer. The CEO of crypto exchange BitMEX, Alexander Hopner, highlighted the need for paying close attention during the Ethereum upgrade to avoid service downtime. Quitting him here, you have to be just, let's say, awake and see what happens. There is a chance for high volatility, and so you have to make sure that your services are up and running. We don't expect any major disruptions outside of volatility, and the CEO further stated that the success of the merge would be dependent on the support of the community. So there you have it. Again, how many of you are excited for the merge just three days away? Let me know in the comments right down below. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. FTX Ventures buys 30% stake in Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital. That's right, FTX Ventures, the investment firm led by billionaire Sam Bankman Fried, will buy a 30% stake in the fund of ex Trump aide Anthony Scaramucci as he continues his mission to try to bolster the struggling crypto market. The financial terms of the deal have not been disclosed, but Scaramucci Skybridge Capital said it would use $40 million of the proceeds to buy cryptocurrencies, which it has agreed to hold as a long-term investment. I think that's a pretty smart move by Scaramucci. And with the deal, Bankman Freed will again step in as a financial backstop for companies afflicted by the crash in crypto markets. Skybridge has historically invested in hedge funds, but Scaramucci, who briefly served as White House communications director under Trump and later became a critic of the former president, has pivoted its business towards cryptocurrencies for good reason. What else are you going to do with your money, right? Recent upheaval in the crypto market, which included several businesses filing for bankruptcy and caused crypto prices to sink, has affected Skybridge's performance and prompted the firm to suspend redemptions in one of its funds. However, Scaramucci has remained optimistic about crypto's prospects and encourage investors to stay disciplined in a new interview with CNBC. News from the deal comes ahead of Scaramucci's annual SALT conference in New York City, for which Bankman Fried is a sponsor and speaker. The two men earlier this year also founded and co-hosted Crypto Bahamas, a digital assets conference. Now, Sam Bankman Fried's largest business, the FTX exchange, derives much of its revenue from trading fees and depends heavily on the health of the crypto market. The crash in token prices, which have fallen about 70% from their peak last autumn, has provided deal-making opportunities for stronger companies. Now, Bankman Fried has also offered bailout loans to Voyager Digital, which later went bankrupt after the 30-year-old billionaire declined to provide additional support. And FTX held meetings about an emergency loan with Celsius, another major casualty of the crypto crash, but refused to extend the lifeline before the New Jersey-based lender suspended customer withdrawals and filed for bankruptcy. And earlier this week, FTX announced a partnership with video game retailer GameStop to help the company which was at the center of the meme stock trading frenzy last year with its push into the digital asset business. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin well activity is sending bullish signals for BTC, says the Bear Group CEO, Nigel Green, and explains why, as well as I share with you this conservative $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,300 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. If you like receiving daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that bell to turn on all notifications, Will Smith, that like button and drop a comment below. It helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, you can follow me all across all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play, and all across social media from crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The CEO of financial advisory giant, Devere Group, Nigel Green, says that recent activity by Bitcoin whales is making him bullish on the flagship crypto asset, according to 
Green. One of the reasons he is bullish is that Bitcoin whales could be prepping to jump back into the market after a period of selling, quoting him here. One reason is that I am whale watching. Whales are investors who are giant crypto holders, hodling enough assets to have the potential to move currency valuations. In recent weeks, whales have been selling, which has the effect of bringing down the market price as others get spooked and panic sell. This then allows the big players to buy back more and cheaper down the track. I sense that they are preparing to make their moves to buy and top up their hodlings in the coming weeks. The DeVere Group CEO says that over the past four weeks, the number of Bitcoin well addresses has increased as he shares here. Also, there's other noticeable well activity taking place. The number of new wallets holding between 10,000 and 100,000 Bitcoins has jumped by 103 in the last 30 days. And according to Green, Bitcoin and other leading crypto assets are currently selling at a discount and possess upside potential as quoted here. Despite the recent turbulence, I believe that the trajectory of Bitcoin and other major cryptos is upwards. This is why I view the current dip as a discount. That's right. So take advantage, seize the moment. And now let's break down this $1 million Bitcoin price prediction, which many are saying can be too conservative. That's right. By carrying out a rudimentary extrapolation of Bitcoin price movements since 2017, Bitcoin is on a run rate to hit $191,000 by January 2030. And when considering the price impact of the Bitcoin halvings on a four-year basis, a step mechanism needs to be included in the extrapolation to reflect the impact of each event on the king crypto. So between now and 2030, two halving events will occur, one in May 2024 and the second in May 2028. So looking at historical halving events, the first halving, November 28, 2012, Bitcoin surged from $12 to a November 28 high in 2013 of $1,050, which is an 8,650% increase not too shabby. And second halving, July 9, 2016, Bitcoin surged from $664 to a July 9, 2017 high of $2,556, which is a 285% increase. And the third halving, May 11, 2020, Bitcoin surged from $8,700 to a May 11, 2021 high of $55,800, an increase of 540%. So based on the above, Bitcoin has surged by an average 3,158% in the one year after each halving event, which is typically the year the market goes parabolic the year following the halving and by removing the 2012 anomaly the average increase is 412 and a half percent now using the extrapolation from january 2017 and the extrapolated may 2024 projected price of 108,000 and incorporating a one-year price increase of 413 percent between may 2024 and may 2025 bitcoin can hit 446 thousand dollars and incorporating the estimated 413 percent increase between may 2028 and may 20 29, Bitcoin would be on target to hit $2.08 million by May 2029, giving Bitcoin a January 2030 value of 2 $11 million for the king crypto. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this bullish price prediction, but do keep in mind the projection considers the following assumptions. Number one, Bitcoin mining support remains firm. Number two, crypto market regulatory framework supports innovation and the evolution of cryptos as an alternative asset class. Number three, Bitcoin whale numbers hold steady while increasing the Bitcoin holdings. Number four, crypto asset adoption continues to grow at its current rates. And number five, there's no catastrophic crypto market event, aka a black swan event. So there you have it. And now for a quick recap, what I covered with you here in today's show, Bitcoin price nears 21,700, as well as boost Bitcoin almost perfectly, as well as micro strategy to reinvest $500 million of stock sales into Bitcoin, according to their latest SEC filing, as well as Ethereum ready for the merge as Last Shadow Fork completes successfully. We also discuss FTX Ventures buying a 30% stake in Scaramucci's Skybridge Capital, as well as Bitcoin well activity is sending a bullish signal for Bitcoin, says the Vera Group CEO, Nigel Green, and explains why. And I also shared with you this bullish $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Sailing With Twins. Hey JV, thanks again for the great show. I really enjoy listening to your show. Like I said before, you read like a mofo. You bring us the news that counts, no BS. I am super bullish. If we have to wait another week or month, it's okay. We all know it will pump. Crypto is the future for our children. After the vid, who's going to want to handle dirty bank notes that pass disease? Imagine how things will pump as more people accept crypto as the future global currency. Much respect, fam. 
I appreciate your continued support. Our next featured comment comes from T-Wolf. I always try to time up saying, in today's show, with you, love your content, man. Keep killing it, will do. And our third and final featured comment comes from Tom Brown the third. Thank you, brother. I entered the crypto world two years ago after losing any opportunity to buy 1,000 worth of BTC at 0.8 a long time ago. Yours was the first podcast I started watching and has helped me grow my portfolio. Hodl, music to my ears. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop a comment below. And again, if you like receiving daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell to turn on all notifications, Will Smith, that like button, and drop a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.